Here we use the words God or Christ or imagination interchangeably. They mean the same thing. If I use the word God, because I am moved to use it, or the word Christ, it is the same thing. It is the fundamental power that created and sustains the universe, and which also sustains our environment. We are told there is a secret to the whole creation in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And by him were all things made, and without him was not anything made that was made. We could use the word imagination, but the secret here is word. What is the word? Something was made that was made. You have been taught to believe many things about the word. Read the Bible and you will find what it means. For no one familiar with the scripture could fail to see that the word is the dream of man. You've been taught it is some being born in a miraculous way, without the office of a man. Well, it is in a way. I have a dream, and it comes out of nowhere. It depends on no outside help. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known to him in a dream. So the voice of God is the dream of man. Blessed is she, for she believed that this spoken to her would be fulfilled. It was told to her in a dream. From the beginning to the end of the Bible, God is always speaking through a dream. In Job, he speaks of two types. The first is a dream, and then a vision of the night. And there he will open the ears of men, and frighten them with warning. I do not have to fall asleep here to dream. The nightmare is the rearrangement of the daydream. They are rearranged dramatically and presented to me. And if my purpose is faulty, it terrifies me with a warning. There is one given in Genesis by Israel. He was first called Jacob, and then he rested for himself the new name of Israel or is, real. From then on, his dreams were objective facts. So the dreams were real. He made a bargain with his uncle Laban that all the spotted and striped animals in the flock were to be his. And Laban agreed, thinking Jacob would be little more than a slave while he worked to win the first daughter, and then the second. And then the Lord appeared in a dream. And told Jacob that all those goats and rams which leaped upon the flock when they came to drink were spotted or striped. And as the flocks bred where they came to drink, then the offspring became as in the dream. Spotted or striped, and Jacob became richer and richer and richer, and his father-in-law got nothing from his hard bargain. What he saw in the daydream, he saw in chronological order in the night dream. We see a thousand things during the day, and often violent things, to be rearranged and dramatized in the dream of the night, so it may terrify us with warning. For we are told, my word will not return unto me void, but must accomplish that well. Unto it is sent, and the word of God is man. Dream. Could you dream today? That is the word of God. Throughout the whole scripture we are told of the word of God. And we think someone is actually going to, is actually going to speak to us. It could come that way when man fully awakens. But it usually comes in a dream. Solomon was promised great riches and long life. And then he awoke and it was a dream. God always appears speaking to man in a dream. So the voice of God is the dream of man. It need not be a night dream. Live so in your daydream that the night dream follows in a chronological order. Just as Jacob saw it regarding the stripes and spotted cattle. Though all the flock is brown, I will see them spotted in my mind's eye. And that 
which was brought forth was brought forth in the image hell. He saw what he wanted to see in the day dream. And then in the night dream, it came forth in chronological order. But man is terrified by his dreams, but they're shown him only to get him to think more constructively during that day. For God is man's imagination. I could pick out a dozen people in this audience tonight who have written me about controlling their daydreams. Here is a man whose property was going to pop. His tenants were behind in their payment. The stepfather was drinking, and the children were shabby and neglected. Instead of taking legal action, the owner took an imaginary ride past his property and saw it in the well-kept state in which he desired to see it. Things began to happen. The woman broke her leg and went to the hospital. At once, the stepfather disappeared. When the woman recovered, she went away for a time with the children and returned with a new husband. The place is now in better condition than it has ever been. The children are well cared for and the family is happy and contented. So blessed is she that believed that this spoken to her would be fulfilled. For everyone is merry. The owner of the property was merry. You have a dream of what you want to be, and you see it clearly in its fullness. Now, blessed are they who believe this spoken by God, for God's voice is mighty. So can I believe that I am now what I want to be, and be faithful to the voice of God? Then my word shall not return to me void. If I can believe, it will come to pass. It has nothing to do with your background. For God speaks to man and he does not care who you are. For it is through the medium of one's own dream that he speaks to you. 